I've always had an incredibly powerful urge to create inside. Always these images and ideas of what's possible surface and, and I get excited and turned on by it and lit up by it. But I also have this side of me that's super sensitive and a, a kind of a self-doubt, a uh, imposter syndrome, like, I don't know if, who am I to even try? And in my addiction, I began using weed to deal with, with those feelings and emotions of inadequacy and at the same time deal with this dissonance of this urge to create and yet this lack of belief and it became this long struggle where I got so into avoiding the discomfort of change and growth and taking risks and creating and receiving feedback and and being able to process and iterate on that feedback and continue to engage in growth and creativity i went the other way with weed i used it to soften those um, that that dissonance that struggle and what happened was um, it got to be it it created even uh, a more of a chasm of action and relief it became all relief and no action and it turned into this fog where the possibility of realizing any of those creative dreams were so far away that it was pointless. What's the point? And I talk to a lot of guys now who are struggling with addiction and I, I see myself in them and I can see and we talk about what they really want to do in their life and they, they have no idea how close they are because they can't even see it. Weed creates this fog of self-doubt, this atmosphere of self-doubt, this like, um, it's like a fish swimming in water. He doesn't even know he's in water. And that's what the weed addict struggles with. They're, they're, they're unaware. They think that these beliefs and feelings are real. And once you put down the weed, if you're still incapable of following through with the meaning and the creativity that's inside of you, it creates that angst and that need for weed and you go back to it. You need to replace weed with something and creativity and meaning and purpose is the solution. But it's a real um, kind of a prison to to recognize that because you can't even see the possibilities that are everywhere i mean we live in this abundant abundant there, abundance is everywhere and we're so programmed to to not see it and be distracted and it's it's kind of heartbreaking and i relate to it because i was i was there i know what it's like i mean for the addict it's like hey do you want a life of meaning and purpose 
and creativity and consistent progress? Or do you want to avoid and be miserable and run and live in this kind of fog of low-grade depression? And the addict will go, I'll get back to you on that. I'll get back to you on that. And I relate. I relate. But being on the other side, I feel meaning in that and purpose. And um, it's possible. The life you want to live is possible. And forward movement is um, is really a worthwhile, worthy, meaningful, purposeful, enjoyable experience. And running and vo avoiding is painful and it's disheartening and soul crushing. You're so much closer than you know. So much closer. Clearly, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I believe with conviction that the first step in, in living a meaningful life for someone who is struggling in weed addiction is to get off the weed and having a life of meaning and purpose is a wonderful replacement for it. I mean, it is a real feeling of a high. Weed's counterfeit. Weed's a pipe dream. It's not real. And I know that triggers a lot of people. It's not. It's selfish and it's, it's, a, it's a denier of life. So that's what I got today. I hope you found some value. I know a lot of people watch the videos are not subscribers. Please subscribe. I'm trying to build the channel up. Uh, appreciate all the comments I get. And uh, if you're interested in working on one-on-one, -on -one, you can click the link below. That's what I got today. Much love. Peace.